Hi, uh, Gladys Carson again at GladysCarson.com and uh, I'm glad I finally found time to do another video. As you probably know, Twitter has updated its profile header so that it is bigger and better, giving you more space to highlight important information. I just updated my profile header today and I want to show you how I did it. I will include the size that worked best for me and how I designed a simple header in PowerPoint and then how to upload your new header. The header size that Twitter recommends is 1,252 pixels by 626 pixels. But my text that was in my header ran off the page when I used that size. I may have done something I shouldn't have done, but it never worked for me. Uh, and I think there is a way you can adjust it inside Twitter, but I thought, why not design it the smaller size to begin with? So the size that worked for me uh, is 520 by 260 pixels, or when you convert it to inches, is 5.47 inches by 2.71 inches. I convert it to inches because PowerPoint uses inches. Let's open up PowerPoint. A PowerPoint uh, blank document. I will right click, go to layout, and choose the blank. Now I want to save this file. I want to save and uh, I'm just going to call it Twitter header. Now I want to resize it. Design, go inside design, page setup. And let's change this width from 10 to 5.47 and the height from 7.5 to 2.71. Okay, that's the right size. And you can use any background or images and text you want. I have found something I like. I thought looked good with the profile picture I'm using. I'll just use this one right here. Okay. And you probably know that there are certain things on Twitter that Twitter controls and you, you can't move them around. For example, your photo will be right in the center and underneath the photo will be your, your screen name and your, your bio. That's all down here. But what you can do, you can put information in this area. So I decided to put some text on each side of the photo. I want to insert a text box. And uh, I think I wrote uh, excited about my debut book. Coming soon. Okay. I'm going to center this and bold it because it looked kind of dull on Twitter when I uploaded it so I decided to bold it and uh, I'm going to increase the size of these two lines here okay okay I'm just going to eyeball the positioning there's a way to do it accurately but for this purpose that'll work 
Okay, let's insert another text box for this side. Uh, the title of the book. Mm. A battle plan for joy. I think I put that on two lines. And uh, the publication date. Let me say 2013 because the exact date has not been set, but it's almost ready. Uh, let's go ahead and increase the size of this since I can highlight everything. And then I come on down and center and load. This is quite a bit here. Get rid of some of that. And. Uh, Again, it's just uh, eyeball thingy but for this purpose of work. Now let's save. And now let's save as, change this into an image. Uh, save as uh, a JPEG. Um, if you type J, the JPEG will pop up there. There it is. See, nice, a JPEG. Okay. And I'm going to save this. It asks, do you want to save every slide or the current slide only? It's not but one slide, but I would just say current slide only. Okay. Now let's go to Twitter. And up in the top or near the, on the right hand side, the little upside down arrow. We click on that. And then come down to settings. The computer's a bit slow sometimes. And we'll click on profile and inside your profile page you can see a lot of information that you have your, your photo, your, your header and other information. I'm not going to mess with the photo. I'm just going to change the header. And when you click on the header, I believe initially when I clicked on it, it took me directly to browsing for my my image. And but the next time it did this, it gave me a choice to either remove that header or to choose an existing image. And naturally, I want to choose and existing image. Okay, my JPEG image is right here. I would just click on open. Okay, and there it is. And see, it, it, it fits pretty good. And uh, the only thing I have to do now is save. I, I'm not going to save because I have already saved it. This was just to show you what I did. So instead of saving, I'm going to cancel. Okay, that's it. I just hope you will... Uh, be able to use this information and I do thank you for watching my video please check out some of my others I have several other videos on YouTube that uh, may be of interest to you and you can always find me at my website GladysCarson.com and I am also on Facebook and on Twitter